know, he played in some games uh, last year, but uh, I think that's the end of the question. So, again, we've had to prepare for more things. I think he's mobile. I think he can run. Uh, looks like he can throw well. So we're prepared for the, the most. Is he more athletic, I guess, is, having said that? I mean, is he more? I would say uh, than Rogers. Yes. Yeah, I would, uh, from watching his uh, tape from Wyoming, I'd say he probably is. I'd say he's definitely faster uh, than Rogers is. And, a little bit more shifty, yes. Is it a similar offense to Vanderbilt does a lot of running did? Or is it no. a different kind of scheme? Yeah, it's uh, in a lot of ways it's different. There's some similarities in the passing game, but uh, theirs is about outnumbering you on one side or another. A lot of gap scheme counters and that type of thing in the past. And uh, Miami is more spread, uh, throw it all over the place. How much focus will be on stopping the run first? I think you've got to. I think you've absolutely got to stop the run to have success. And, uh, I think their strength is uh, the running back 24 and the receiver 87. I think 80 is a good receiver, too. 80. Boy, do y'all expect him to play? I do. Do you think uh, the Hendrick, Quintavious, can they win some of those battles? What do you think about those guys? <laughs> they going? better be able to win some of those battles. Or it's going to be a long night. So, uh, yeah, there's some different things that we can do to the receivers and so forth. But, uh, you know, if you're going to stop the run and be consistent in that, uh, and we have to be able to load the box at times uh, too. So you got to pick and choose at the right time. Hopefully, uh, we'll pick the right times. How have you felt like the progress through August has been for the defensive side of the ball? Yeah, I think it's it's been good. I think uh, uh, going back to even last spring, I think our kids have a grasp of what we're trying to do, and I think we've been able to refine some things. We're a little bit more multiple over there uh, than we were last year. Uh, there's some depth in some spots. In some spots, there's not as much depth as we want. That's part of the process that uh, Hugh talks about all the time. So uh, we'll continue to do what we do. You're closer to having a, a, a rotation like you wanted than you were last year? I think in some places on the defensive line, absolutely. At linebacker, uh, secondary is still uh, not as too deep as we'd like it to be. How many defensive ends were you all playing? Seven. Seven. DT can play uh, linebacker or DN. He's ready to go to play either one in this game. Talk about Robert going into his first game at, at yeah. defensive end. Yeah, I mean, uh, Robert's going to be a freshman, but uh, he, he's massive. Uh, he's, I think he's done a great job for a young guy coming in and having him uh, learn. You know, there's been some issues with him jumping off sides, but uh, you'd rather have that than one that just kind of sits back. He's eager to play, uh, very excited. I think uh, Robert is as advertised. And uh, I think he's a very special individual, and I think C.J. will fall in love with him as the season goes on because they can't load up on C.J. because uh, he can create some damage on the other side. Are you healthier on defense than maybe you thought you would be at this point when camp started? Uh, if you're asking me if we're going to get the two corners back, is that what you're asking? Well, and, and just Isaac's health and C.J.'s yeah. health when camp started, that kind of thing. Yeah, I think C.J. Uh, you know, will be ready to go. I think he's very close. I think both the corners will be back and be ready to go. You know, obviously Charles has practiced uh, the last couple of weeks or eight or ten days. I get lost on all that now. And uh, I think Sinclair is very, very close uh, to being ready to go. So, uh, Isaac, you know, uh, Isaac's ready to go. Yeah, he's full speed. Ready to go. So probably the answer to that is yes. Yeah, I think we're better than what we thought we would be. You mentioned Robert as a special player. Do you th you worry at all that it'll take him some time to kind of acclimate when the lights come on in his first college game? Well, I think it, absolutely any freshman it will. But I think that's a spot where you can really change uh, faster than the most because it's about coming off the ball and being aggressive. And I'm talking about you know his mass as a man. I mean he is so big and strong and fast that he uh, creates. You can't say the ball can. It's just not going to happen. I don't care who we're playing. And uh, he's, a, he's a massive individual that can create havoc. How much, how much flexibility does guys like Mike Hilton and Tony Carter give you all on defense? A lot more than we had last year. You know, we've tried to grow that Husky position into a bigger body. Uh, Tony's, you know, continues to grow, but yet he runs extremely well. Ideally, that's the body that we've always wanted to have there. So uh, I think Tony, again, has come along. He's a freshman, uh, just like uh, Robert is, and they'll progress as a scene come on, but he will play in the game quite a bit. Do you, do you 